Have you ever written an SQL query and thought, wait, should I use a subquery here? Or maybe a view? Or would a CTE be better? You're not alone. In this video, I'll walk you through the difference between common table expressions, subqueries, and views, and help you decide which one to use and when. You'll see code examples for all three, learn when each one makes sense, and I'll share a practical way to remember which one to use based on your needs. Before we dive in, get the cheat sheet with a summary of each option and pros and cons of each in the description below. All right, let's start by quickly explaining what these three things actually are. On screen, I've got a basic orders table and a customers table. Let's break down what each of these three SQL techniques are with a quick example. A subquery is a query inside another query. You'll often use them in the where, from, or select clause. Here's a query that includes a subquery. This query finds all customers who have spent at least $1,000 across all of their orders, assuming the order total is in dollars. The inner query returns customer IDs and the outer one filters the customer table. This technique is quick and simple, but they can get messy, especially as you start adding more complicated logic. We can run this query and see the results here. A view is a saved SQL query that you can treat like a table. It's a database object that you can create on your database and then run queries on it. To use a view, we create it first by using this create view command. We can create a new view called top customers, which shows the customers and the total of their orders and only includes customers that have spent more than $1,000 with us. We can run it and the view is created. Then you can query it like this with a simple select statement from the view. This is great when you want to reuse logic across multiple queries or hide complexity. A CTE is a temporary result set defined at the top of your query using the with keyword. We start by writing the with keyword, then giving our CTE a name. I've called it order totals. Then we have the as keyword, then brackets. Inside the brackets, we have a query that gets our customer IDs and the total of the customer's orders. In our main query, we select records from the customer table and then join to the CTE we created, which is called order totals. We then filter it where the total spent is greater than 1000. It's like giving a name to a subquery and then using it in the main query. We run this and see the results here. So when should you use a subquery? I would suggest using a subquery when you're filtering on some simple logic or the logic only needs to be used once. I would suggest avoiding subqueries if they start to get deeply nested. You can nest a subquery inside another subquery, which can get pretty messy. Also, avoid them if you need to use the result in multiple places, as you'll have to copy the subquery and use it again. Views are great when you want to abstract and reuse logic across different areas of the database or different applications. I would recommend using a view when the logic is used in many places, or you want to simplify access to data for analysts or reporting tools. Views are also good if you want to improve security because views can limit what data users are able to see. I would avoid views if the logic only needs to be used in one query or one area of the database. You can use a CTE for that. This isn't a hard rule, but it's one to consider. Also, avoid using views that look up other views. This can get messy and it's hard to determine the logic being applied to the query and hard for the database to optimize. Now for my personal favorite, CTEs. I recommend using CTEs when your query needs multiple steps, which is where you get some data and then use that data in a later step within a query. It's also helpful if you want to make the logic readable and easier to debug. Also, if you need to write a recursive query, a CTE gives you the option of doing that. However, it's not the perfect solution. I would avoid a CTE if you need to reuse logic across multiple queries or areas of the database. In that situation, I would suggest using a view. So there's no perfect choice for which one to use, but it depends on the situation. Use a subquery for one-off, simple logic inside another query. Use a view when you need to reuse logic across multiple queries or areas of the database. Use a CTE when you want to break your query into logical steps, make it easier to debug and reuse logic within a query. Once again, you can get a summary of this along with the pros and cons using the link in the description. If you found this video helpful, you'll want to watch this video next where I use the techniques in this video to fix a messy query and make it easier to understand. Thanks for watching.